2021 is a brand new year for us, and I believe with all of my heart that God has special things in store for you, new things in store for you. Lots of changes, lots of transitions happening this year, but it's all gonna be good for His people. And the Word of the Lord was rare in those days. There was no frequent vision. There was no frequent vision. Before God does anything, God gives a vision. And that's why I'm sharing this message, amen, for this coming year. Because what the devil has done is that he has robbed the church. He has robbed God's people of visions that are positive, beautiful days ahead, amen, good days. The, uh, the devil robs your vision before he robs you. Remember what God said to Abram? All that you can see, I give to you. All that you can see, I give to you. Abram actually responded later on. He says, I see myself childless, seeing I go childless. And the heir of my house is Eliezer of Damascus. Today we can say, Lord, what, what, what can I have, Lord? What job can I have? Seeing I have been retrenched. Uh, Lord, what, what future can I have? Seeing, amen, this has happened to me. Lord, I, 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 I can't even sleep at night for fear and worry. I've received this bad news from the doctor saying I have this condition. Amen. Is that what you see on the inside? God wants to flood your heart with light this coming year. God wants to restore to you the vision that you have lost. Amen. Are you ready for the vision of the year? Sit back, relax. Here it comes. The year of Chazon vision. God be restoring visions in your heart. You'll be focused on vision this year. You'll be setting out visions from God after prayer and those visions will come to pass because vision is the missing element. Many a times in this process of faith, a lot of people are focused on saying the right thing, saying the right thing. In fact, uh, I, I, you know, some of the, 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 the focus right now is on the mouth, on the mouth because of the Hebrew uh, year, 5781. But actually what precedes the, the speaking is the heart. And the heart is affected by visions. So God's gonna affect your heart, amen, in a positive way. God's gonna cause you to be full of His vision this year. Amen. And out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. That's when it happens. Amen. Is this the time? Is this a Kairos moment for us? That midday is happening this coming year for God's people. And it is a time when we will see heaven opened over you and your family this year. Hallelujah! This coming year, towards the end of the year, I'm gonna see a lot of salvation. Praise the name of Jesus, amen. And I'm here to tell you, I don't, I don't care if you're on a remote island somewhere, people ask, how about those who never hear about Jesus? I'm here to tell you the story of Cornelius settles that if your heart reaches out to God, you're crying out for God, God will find you. God will send a messenger, amen. God will send His word of salvation to you and God will do it in ways unprecedented. God, you know, when God gave them the Holy Spirit like this, it is unprecedented, it's a new thing. Will you pray this prayer over your, yourself every day? Will you pray this prayer over your children, amen? That God will give them the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Jesus, especially in the knowledge of the Lord, amen? Having the eyes of their understanding being enlightened. Having the eyes of their heart being enlightened. Amen, flooded with light. That they may know what is the hope of their calling, what is the riches of the glory of their inheritance and the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of the power of God wrought in Christ. Amen, on our behalf. Wow, it takes the spirit of wisdom and revelation and eyes of the heart being opened to see. May that be your prayer. May that be your reality this year. This excerpt is brought to you by josephprince.com. To get the full message, visit josephprince.com.